Yeah, hello, my name is John Gardner with Good Earth Natural Foods on Central Avenue. This is a unique show, a great show. I've been waiting a long time to get this guy on. This is James the Honey Man. Richard. How are you? <laughs> I had to do it like he's a wrestler. How are you doing, James? I'm okay, John. Well, uh, we appreciate you, you coming. You promised you wouldn't crack me up, but yeah, it's we, getting close. All right. Well, I'll try not to make you laugh, but um, anyway, James has been with us for a long time, very long years. time, at least 10 years and going. So um, he's been supplying us. He's, uh, as I said, the honey man. So he's a local honey um, honey man, a beekeeper. Uh, tell us, uh, let's see, Over your company's over 100 years old. Mm-hmm. You're the third generation and a possible fourth generation after you're done. But we'll just leave it at you at three generations. I better start paying you better. Then you'll be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, would you like to tell us uh, how your company started, maybe with um, the first generation, being your great-granddad, and then how it stepped down and then on to you? Okay. Well, my grandfather actually in uh, 2000, or excuse me, 1903, uh, he was 14 years old. He caught his first swarm of bees and uh, uh, went home from school as he was walking home he found the swarm and took it home made like a rude box or something and that's where it actually started um and then my dad in about the 60s uh, bought the business and and then in 2000 i started kind of revamping things and and taking it uh you know full time then but uh we are over a hundred years old and three generations, and whether it's the fourth or not, I don't know. Hopefully, my son used his mind instead of his back. <laughs> it's a hard job, and especially these days, there's a lot of problems with the bee industry. But uh, there are times it's very uh, fun, but a lot of times it's mostly just hard work. Now you have hives all over the state, correct? Uh, mostly central and south Arkansas, but in this area, 60, 90-mile radius of Hot Springs, uh, Garland County, some in Saline County, but mostly in this area right here. And that's what you'd consider local? Local honey, that's correct. A lot of people feel five-mile radius or ten-mile radius, but uh, everything that's blooming and, you know, this whole central band, uh, you know, an hour that way and this way, it's, it's all the same, pretty much the same. So any of the honey in this area is going to benefit, uh, you know, your for your pollen content, your allergies, everything of that nature is going to Okay. Be well, with that said, I'll back up. We have a surprise for everyone watching. Is that's the observation uh, that you've created yesterday, which we're really happy to have. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about your product. So, uh, what's going on inside the um, observation here, John? For the most part, uh, this is one frame out of a, a colony of bees that I have at my house. Uh, actually, I caught this one of bees here in Hot Springs at Central uh, Station Flea Market earlier in the spring. Uh, I took her home, I caught the swarm hanging from the canopy, and I put it in a box and took it home. And, of course, she's built up. And uh, hey, Well, with that said, we, we have your honey here. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk about the color, the different colors that people can see when they buy local honey versus okay. others. Um, the, the cool thing about yours is that your, yours will change color during the right. times of the year, where if they're buying it from... Um, other places it may be from china or other sources and it's always gonna be the same color correct correct. a lot of people ask why my uh, colors change Uh, i just i package what the the bees give me okay Uh Uh, early spring it would be even lighter than this real clear honey because you have basically your clovers your vetch is uh uh, uh, spring uh, blooming, you know, trees, what uh, fruit trees? I'm trying to say, uh, which produce a mostly lighter honey. And then as the summer pr- uh, progresses, you have a, a darker variety that uh, you know your vine honey, things like that. So uh, you know, if you watch the lighter, if you prefer the lighter honey, a lot of times it's it's more of a milder taste. Uh, naturally, it's a lot uh, clearer, and it, it's more what. A, appealing to the eye, but a lot of people actually prefer a darker honey because there is more robust flavor, sometimes a fruity, you know, even a grapish flavor yeah. in the honey. It's not very pretty, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a, actually more tasty. Well, it's coming know. from nature during the different times of the season, so That's now right. we've educated everyone. Right. Well, a darker honey, a lot of people think it's older honey. No, it's, it's, it's old, black, you know, it's no good, but that's not, that has nothing okay. to do with it. Well, real quick, let's talk about the last thing that you don't always offer, but sometimes I'm able to get it, and here we do have it. Um, what we have here? This is bee pollen. Uh, each one of these granules, uh, when the bee comes into the colony, she's carrying two of these little granules on her legs. And so we have like a screen trap, more or less a filter, that when the bee comes through the, the screen, it breaks this off of her legs before she actually goes into the colony. It's called a, a bee pollen trap. So uh, you can put these on the uh, the the hive and you'll catch especially in the spring you really capture a lot of pollen 
So, okay. And you can see the different colors here. This would be like maybe some pine. you got some clovers. It's just a mixture of, of so many different things there. Well, what's the benefit for taking the bee pollen to everyone? I mean, what can they possibly get as a benefit well, from having the Well, the, the raw pollen? honey has traces of pollen throughout the honey. In fact, a lighter honey, you can hold it up to the sunlight, and sometimes it's like a little metal flake or something in the honey, but that's pollen dust. Yes. And that's the that's the benefit of raw honey, but it has traces of pollen. But if you have real allergy problems, you can take pure pollen, which is what your body is needing. It's uh, you ingest a bit of the pollen uh, daily, or at least every other day, and it builds up your immunities against you know the the, the pollen that they gather in the air. You know, it's okay. it's not a shock to their system. So yeah. you know, if you stay keep a diet of of pollen coming into your system, that you know you can more or less go flying through the you know the pollen season. Yeah, you know, early spring or even even into the fall when the fall pollen starts uh, coming in, okay. you know. So yeah, pollen is very good. And the more you take, it's actually a real energy builder, and it's good for your system. And there's, there's a lot of benefits in pollen, John. It's not yeah. just just the allergy. Yeah, well, you know? that's what's most common. But again, uh, on the show, we definitely are not prescribing or diagnosing to anyone, right. even though this is considered a food um, and not a vitamin. But still, if you have any questions or problems, uh, take that up with your doctor. But just know that this possibly um, could, could be an added benefit yeah. uh, in your daily life. And there's of, a lot of information out there. Read, yeah. study, you know, get online, uh, talk to your doctor, as you say it. Uh, there's a lot of information for us. Yeah, well, you know, we, so. we always mention that just to make sure that mm-hmm. everyone's happy and no one gets, you know, does anything right. crazy or takes me, you know, does something to, you know, without us knowing. So, mm-hmm. anyway, it's all good. Um, anything else in closing about um, anything you have to say with your bees or, or what you have to offer? Uh, I would say, first of all, that if there's anybody that's interested in the, the bee industry, study it look into it and it, it's a fun hobby you know and, it, and we need beekeepers we really do we need people the the whole the industry is suffering where there's a great loss of bees so you know somebody that's interested in you know getting a hive started it'd be a fun thing to do all right well yeah, a good thing to do they can come in here and i'll swing them your way okay <laughs> <laughs> I was maybe kidding. maybe not well i don't know if i was kidding or not but anyway y'all have a great week and we appreciate you watching hope you've enjoyed this one Good Earth Natural Foods is brought to you by Blue Bonnet, Nordic Naturals, and Life Seasons. Good Earth Natural Foods, helping you make smarter, healthier decisions when buying natural products. We're located at 3955 Central Avenue, across from Walmart.